What is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at how to dress like Justin Bieber in 2017. If you've been a viewer of this channel for a long time, you've seen that I've done a lot of videos on Justin Bieber back in the day, but I have not done any in probably like eight to 12 months. It's been that long. Main reason has been that he hasn't really been going for that style as much as he used to. Like when he was back in his fear of God stage, he would always go out with a crazy outfit. Now it seems like he does a lot of random stuff, but I still wanna do this video now because it seems like a lot of you guys still wanna see that. How this video is gonna work is we're gonna go online, we're gonna look at a bunch of different outfits and we're gonna pick one outfit to try to find alternatives to, so cheaper alternatives, or we're gonna break down and try to find a cheaper piece than what he's actually wearing so you guys can get it for a better deal. But I'm not gonna actually buy this stuff. If this video gets 5,000 likes, I'll do an actual dress like challenge. The reason I do that is because I'm not sure how much you guys wanna actually see it, and I don't know if it'll be worth it to do it. So if you guys get 5,000 likes, it will definitely show me that you wanna see this dress like challenge where I actually go on, find a different outfit, and buy the whole outfit, put it on, and see if I can get an outfit that looks like his for a certain price point. And again, I'm in my new apartment. You guys smashed 3,000 likes on the last video, so I'm going to be doing an apartment tour probably this weekend. I need some help to film it. But again, this apartment is amazing. I'm still in love and everything is coming together. My studio is not fully set up yet and I'm probably gonna wait a little bit for that because I wanna make it perfect and have a bunch of different filming areas in this apartment. So this is one of them right here. And so you guys can wait for that. It'll definitely be worth the wait, but I will be giving you the tour as well as you'll get a new studio space coming up soon. What I like to do first of these challenges is to go to Google and type in the person's name and type in fashion 2017. So Justin Bieber fashion. 2017 and basically to pull up some of the recent pictures because you know his fashion has fluctuated a lot throughout the years people have grown up with like watching him and having eyes on him because he was so big when he was young and so you can definitely see the progress of how he's changed now, honestly I haven't seen him in too much denim recently but this is the Justin Bieber look live now I've gone to look live a few times before it basically just has all the outfits and shows some of the different alternatives on there it makes it a little bit easier if you don't wanna go and search yourself. Honestly, that just sounded like a brand deal to me, but I have not been paid one dime by Look Live. They emailed me before, but I've never been paid a dime. I actually have my own profile on here, which is actually pretty cool. But we'll go ahead and look at the first few outfits that we have on here. Now, what I'm gonna do is look at the outfits and see if I can pick what is actually a part of the outfit, like the actual piece, because it wears a little bit more of that name brand and hype stuff, and then we'll go ahead and break it down and try to see if we can find an outfit. The first outfit that's showing up right here, we have a Supreme jersey that released a little bit ago, and then we have, I think that might be the Hanes t-shirt that he had the collaboration with Carla. We'll go ahead and just look at that in a second though. Shorts, I think they're Daniel Patrick, because as you can see a few over, two rows over, that they're actually, those are like similar. I have a pair of shorts that are just like that. I did some work with Daniel Patrick before. They're pretty high in brand, pretty expensive, but they have some really quality stuff. So we'll go ahead and click on this outfit. And so we have a Supreme jersey, like I said, I know even before it like shows it and then we have let's see what we got going on with the shorts and stuff why did this pull this up okay so we do have a pair of red vans that i didn't see because it's kind of covered up but just a nice pair of red vans very simple you could buy for 50 bucks so that's a good thing to have it also just shows the card holder i guess it doesn't have the other pieces but that is definitely a supreme jersey the shirt is probably that hanes shirt because i think there's the Hanes shirt down here. As you know, they did a collaboration with Carla where it's just kind of like that perfect white t-shirt. And so as you can see, I like the fit of that one. It has like the longer sleeves, a little bit boxier fit. So I think that's a good one. I think they're not even sold out 30 bucks. A little expensive for a Hanes t-shirt though. This is one of the outfits that I've been seeing a little bit more recently than anything. So you can see it's like the Purpose Tour shirt. And I think that's the one from H&M. They have a few of those. I don't know how I feel about it. I know a lot of people keep asking what are my honest opinions on it, but I mean, it's just, I, I like it. And I think it's a good idea. I don't personally think I'm gonna wear it. I like the original merch better. I had some shirts that said Purpose Tour on them. I like those a little bit better, but particularly these, it's just kind of not in my realm. I just don't really see myself wearing something like that recently. And then we have the shorts as well, tour shirts, were kind of like similar to Vans, if you can see like the back of it. That's just kind of like the Vans font. Some socks, and it looks like he's wearing some slides, so nothing crazy. Here's an outfit from like two months ago. Now this one kind of looks like one that I would see him wearing maybe back in his earlier days because of the side zips. Now those were really popular, I would say two and a half years ago, something like that. I had a bunch of shirts that had the zippers on the side, they're extended length, and I guess it's still kind of in now, but I don't think it is as much. And I mean, it's not a bad hoodie, it's got the nice uh, gothic font on the side, excuse me, old English font on the side. We just have some Nike track pants. Then we have the Nike Air Max Atmos right there. Pretty simple outfit, nothing too crazy right there. I put up a few different outfits. Now this is one that I wanted to talk about because he's actually still in that Fear of God denim. I know Justin Bieber wore a lot of Fear of God back in the day and recently I just don't see him in much denim and I'm surprising to see that he still has those. And now I think it's cool because I guess that shows the quality of them. They're still holding up unless he has a brand new pair. 
Then we have a nice hoodie there. Kind of reminds me of an off-white hoodie just because of like the writing on the bottom, but I don't think it's anything similar to that. And then the shoes, I can't particularly tell what they are. Now they look like a Y3, like the black on black Y3 with boost, which would actually are actually pretty decent looking shoe. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the shoe though. Up there, a triple back ultra boost apparently. So either way, the very similar shoe, black on black boost. And this is not a bad outfit, I don't think. It's, it's very simple and clean. And I mean, you got the denim, you got the hoodie. Can't go wrong with it. Then we got another recent outfit right here. As you can see, we have the Fear of God t-shirt. Then we have, I think that's a Fear of God hat. They came out with those $300 ridiculously priced. A Miri denim, which has been a little bit more popular recently. Now they also have a pair of black denim like this. I like the patches that it has on it. It looks like it has a nice stack. No zippers or anything on them, which makes it that nice little stack look. And I don't mind the look of those at all. They're just very expensive. I just don't really see myself getting those. We might be able to find something similar to this where we can find a cheaper look. Then we have the Vans Old Schools in pink. Honestly, probably wouldn't wear the pink old schools, but you know, why not just throw them in there? I guess it's a little bit of a flair. One of the last ones I wanna look at just to kind of get your guys' opinions on is this one right here. So this is when he ran over the paparazzi when that happened, but those are some Daniel Patrick track pants right there, a little bit puffy. We have that hoodie again, actually the same hoodie. I don't know if that's a Fear of God hat as well, but the shoes, they're a Jordan 12, and I just wanna know what you guys think about this outfit because to me, it's just kind of weird, you know, like the greens, the yellows, the maroons, the navy. And I just don't really, I don't know, I don't wear Jordan 12s myself and I don't really see myself wearing those because they seem a little bit big and I have really skinny legs so I just feel like it would look like, they would just look like huge boots on me. So for an outfit to break down, let's go ahead and just attempt this one right here. And so we're just gonna first, the hat I'm not really gonna worry about, the glasses I'm not gonna worry about either. You can get something like that at Urban Outfitters. The shirt, a lot of people speculate that they're made from Gildan and so I probably could find something like at H&M that has like that very similar look. So uh, we could pull that up really quick. But other than that, we could probably find something from Guild. First place that came to mind when I thought of denim would be Forever 21 because I thought recently when searching on there, I might've found like a pair of denim that was kind of patchy like that. Now I could be wrong. So I'm just gonna scroll through really quick and see if I can see anything. But it doesn't look like there's too much on here to do with that. I'm gonna maybe look at Paxton too. I'm just looking at the essential stores first before I go dive deep into anything like, you know, into the crazier stores. But I'm gonna go ahead and just look on here real quick and see what we can find. I just wanna look on ASOS really quick to see if they have any jeans. I couldn't necessarily find too much on Forever 21, but I could probably find something that is similar enough. You know, just that skinny jean look. It's hard to find something with that exact patches because it's kind of like, I don't think they're exactly replicating jeans out there, but we'll go ahead and just move on from there if we can. All right, so we're just searching through ASOS right now. They have a lot of pages and a lot of jeans to look through but some of these like the fit of these will look uh decent compared i mean there's some i don't know you could go for the same fit but you're not going to get that like patchwork necessarily but i mean like these right here have a really nice fit i would say even just like from what i could see on here if you're skinny obviously because those are like a super skinny jean this could even be like a similar style because i know a lot of people looking for that track pant and these right here kind of look like perfect i have a pair that are similar to this now this could be like the Amiri track denim that they have that is like $1,000, these are 52 bucks. That's a good price point. I know that's kind of all over just going between different denims and whatnot, but I just wanted to come on and look and just see different things that look similar to it. Like these right here, not as much. I don't really like the slits or anything in them, but I like the fit of these. They just look like, you can see just the fit of them. It's, it's a nice fit and we'll go back to the original picture so we can see what we were looking like. Here's the original picture. It's a lighter denim. It has that patchwork on there, which honestly could be done in a DIY, which maybe I should do but you just really have to just like cut out some of the distressing throughout the jeans and then sew a patch there. So that's an option as far as the denim goes, just a pair of nice light denim, 20 pounds or however much it is in US dollars, 25 bucks, something like that. Not bad at all, they have some sales too. Now as far as the t-shirt go, there's a bunch of different options that you can go with because the original shirt that he's wearing is the Fear of God and I'm not gonna call out Jerry Lorenzo and say that it is a Gildan t-shirt, but a lot of people saw the shirts in boxes and they said that they're Gildan, so I'm not sure if they are or not, but I'm gonna give you the option if you can go on Amazon right now. This is a sand colored Gildan shirt, which they have 100% cotton. It's like that boxy look, that nice fit that most people are using on like their tours and whatnot, and they have the nice fit. I enjoy the fit of it. They're just not the best quality for $4.50. So there's your cheap price for a t-shirt if you want to. So you could go with the Hanes and Carla collab. If you guys can see this, I think the original was the one that Bieber wore or the classic, one of the two. I can kind of look, or it was the crew. There's a right there, the classic, as you can see. It's just that nice boxy look. 30 bucks is a little pricey for a white t-shirt, but apparently it's the perfect white t-shirt. 100% cotton. 
and I mean, I don't really think that it's anything crazy. It has the two, it has a nice little slit on the side, which is kind of nice, nice little detail, but for 30 bucks, it's a little bit pricey, but you can see the overall fit. The last thing would be the shoes, and that will probably be just a good option to go with something from Vans. These are the Vans and Union collab, and they're not really reselling anywhere. I can't really find them on eBay, maybe on Grilled or something like that. But in that particular instance, you can go with the Vans Old Schools, which we'll pull up right now, and they're literally like, you know, 55 bucks. There's a bunch of different options. I wanna know what you guys think about these right here, the Vans and the uh, Peanuts collab. They were kind of, they're kind of crazy, but I, I almost bought them. I just didn't really end up biting the bullet on them because I got to see them in person. They're just a little bit out there, but I think it's a cool look. But we'll just go ahead and pull up the old schools. Look at the prices so you guys can see. I'm just gonna try to find like a regular one. There's 60 bucks right there for some normal colors. And I mean, just the black and white ones in general. I honestly really like the checker ones that are coming out. I don't know why this is pulling up so many shoes. I can't even like stay on one shoe. But let's see if I can pull up those checkered ones. I like these. These are a great shoe that you guys could go with. I mean, 60 bucks. I'll link these down below if you want to. But the Vans Old School is a very simple silhouette. And so you can use it in many different variations. And I honestly think it is like the best streetwear shoe. When it comes to just versatility, you can use it in so many different instances. It can look a little bit nicer. It can look like a skate shoe. Like I know not nicer, but it's just a very simple silhouette. And I know a lot of people wear it as just like a nice simple shoe. We don't have a lot of hype, but you have that nice form factor and a nice look. Basically that is it for how to dress like Justin Bieber in 2017. A lot of shorts, a lot of simple t-shirts. He does wear a little bit of denim here and there, mostly Amiri recently, to be honest. I know that one Fear of God picture we saw, but I've seen a lot of him in the Amiri denim, which I actually like, but other than that, there hasn't been too much crazy stuff for the outfits that he's been wearing, but if you wanna see an outfit challenge, again, get the three to 5,000 likes and we'll do it. Let me know down below if you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison, signing out. I don't know where I'm going, I just know where I'm headed, feel this